I'm going to show you how to customize the order book in Pro Real Time. To open the order book, simply click this order book icon, which is displayed in the lower left of your charts. This will open an order book, showing the same instrument as the chart. You can customize the columns by dragging them to the left or to the right to change their positions, and you can also increase or decrease their size. You can set the quantity of orders you want to place using this quantity selector at the bottom and also choose whether you want your orders to be associated with a preset stop and target. The default order book uses a vertical display with prices in the center and columns to place orders on the left and right. For example, you can place a buy limit order by clicking in this part, a buy stop order by clicking in this part, a sell limit order by clicking in this part, or a sell stop order by clicking in this part. We also have a best bid ask display view available with quick buttons to buy or sell. This mode is particularly useful for trading the Forex market. You can go back to the vertical display by clicking here. A horizontal order book is also available. First going to enlarge the order book and then click on this icon to go to horizontal mode. In this configuration the bid prices are on the left and the ask prices are on the right. You can place buy limit orders by clicking here or sell limit orders by clicking here. If you want to switch to stop orders in this mode you just click on stop instead of limit and then you'll place sell stop orders on the left and buy stop orders on the right. Let's go back to vertical mode. The order book also offers many other settings to completely customize your display. Let's open these up by clicking on the settings button here. The order book also has many other settings to completely customize your display. Let's have a look at these by clicking on the settings button, which is right here. The top section lets you set default values for your orders. For example, you can set the default quantity for futures, forex, and other types of instruments, which can be separate. You can also choose the default values for your associated stops and target orders. For example, 10 pips per contract here. You can also choose to use trailing stops from the order book. From the display section, you can choose the display mode of the order book and also whether you want to display or hide many different columns. Clicking on quantity will display or hide the quantity in the buy and sell columns here. You can choose the color for the buy and sell columns and also the text color displayed within these columns. You can also display a quantity histogram to show the quantity information in histogram form. Executed quantity per price level shows the quantity that's been executed at different price levels during the day, and the histogram shows the same information in histogram format. Number of orders per price level shows that information, and that's most often used on stocks. My Orders displays these S order and B order columns where you can see your orders that have been placed via the order book or in the charts. Let's have a look at what that looks like. When I click here to place an order, you see that my order is shown directly on the chart and also in the order book and that it's associated with my trailing stop and also the limit. The limit is also shown in the order book when it's close enough to the price. You can easily remove all orders by clicking on the cross next to orders right here. Quantity and order type columns will display labels reminding you of the types of orders that you can place in different sections of the order book. Display last execution shows the volume of the last executed trade on the corresponding price level. 
as long as it is greater than or equal to the selected volume here, in this case one, but you can increase or decrease this. The next part is options. Buy sell market buttons give you access to the buy and sell at market price buttons here. These buttons will also be able to attach the trailing stops and targets from these two checkboxes. Order type in BS box shows the type of order that's going to be placed when you hover over the buy or sell columns with the mouse. This option lets you activate the bid-ask ratio bar, which can be an indicator of buying pressure or selling pressure. Display all prices lets you display the inside market, or prices that are between the best bid and best ask price. Bid ask column formatting, when you turn this off, will display all of the prices in the same format. When turned back on, the best bid and best ask prices are slightly larger to make them easier to see. Highlight last price colors the price of the last executed trade. Color position price line shows the price of your position in green for a long position or red for a short position and you can also change these colors by clicking on them. Display daily high and low lines will display a black solid line when the daily high or low price is approaching. You will also see that prices above the daily high or below the daily low will be grayed out making it easy for you to see when this boundary approaches. Configure bid ask display will open this window which will let you choose how many digits of the best bid ask you would like to enlarge for different instrument types. Here we're on a future for example there are currently three digits enlarged. We could change that to two and the number of digits you enlarge will really depend on the type of instrument that you're looking at. When you're finished with this configuration, you can go back to the order book settings. Configure best bid ask display will let us choose how many digits of the price we want to be enlarged, both in the order book and also in other locations of the application such as the market buttons shown on charts here. If we click on it we'll be able to see that we can set this differently for futures or forex for example. In the information bar down here we can choose to display the spread between bid and ask the executed quantity today, the last bid ask change time, and we can also display the total bid and total ask. The final option order placement applies in the vertical mode here and by default it lets you place buy stop orders above price and sell stop orders below price. You can activate the other option if you want to also place buy limit orders above price and sell limit orders below price. Finally, a button is available to apply your settings to all order books. To learn more, click on one of the links that appears on the screen.